Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tom Lee. We continue the SAT English test. This is the test 10, section 1, a reading test. From question 22 to question 32. Before you doing the test, you have to know that in this section, we have 65 minutes for 52 questions. And you better read through the direction before you go into the text. Question 22 to 32 are based on the following passage. The passage is a debt from Sabina Richards, Persians to Touch, 2012, by the scientists. In the early 1990s, textbooks acknowledged that humans have slow conducting nerves, but asserted that those nerves only respond to two types of stimulus, pain and temperature. Sensations of pressures and vibrations were believed to travel only along myelinate, fast signaling the fiber, which also give information about location. Experiments blocking the fiber supported this notion, preventing fast fiber from firing either by cramming the relevant nerve or by ingesting the local anaphastic lidocaine, seemed to eliminate the sensations of pressures together. But blocking slow fibers only seem to reduce sensitivities to warm or a small painful shock. Harkin Allusion and his Gothenburg University colleague R.Q. Warbor and John Hans Weber wonder if slow fibers responsive to gentle pressure might be active in human as well as in other mammals. In 1993, they corrode, corrode mean they collect and group together. They corrupted 28 young volunteers and records nerve signal while gently brushing the subject's arm with their fingertips using a technique called the microneurography, in which a five filament is inserted into the single nerve to capture its electrical impulse. The scientists were able to measure how quickly or slowly the nerve fibre they showed that soft choking formed two different signals, one immediately and one delayed. The delayed evolutions expand, mean that the signal from a gentle touch on the fourth arm will reach the veins about a half second later. This delay identified nerve impulse traveling at speed characteristics of slow, unmethylinated fibers, about one meter per second confirming the presence of this fiber in human hairy skin. In contrast, fast conducting fibers are already known to respond to touch signals as a race between 35 to 75 meters per second. Then in 1999, the group looked the most closely as the characteristic of slow fibers. They named this low stairhose nerve C tactile or CT fibers, set illusion because of these exquisite sensitivities to slow gentle textile stimulations, but unresponsiveness to nausea stimulus like pink pick. But why exactly humans might have such fibers, which respond only to a narrow range of rather subtle stimuli, what initially mystifying, unlike other types of sensory nerve. CT fibers could be found only in hairy human skin, such as the fourth arm and the thigh. Those amounts of gentle strokings or hairless skin, such as the palm and shoulders of the feet, form the similar activity signatures. Olution and his colleagues decided that this fiber must be conveying a different dimensions of sensory information than fast conducting fiber. Or those microneurographies can give information about how a single nerve responds to gentle pressing and pressure. It cannot tease out what aspects of sensation that fiber relays, says Orusen. He wanted to know if that same slow nerve can distinguish where the brush touched the arm and whether it can discern the difference discern mean to recognize, to see, to understand something. It can discern the difference between a gold hairbrush or a feather. Most importantly, 
could that same fibers convey a person's sensation? To address the question, Allusions group shorts out a patient known as GL, who has an unusual nurse defect. More than two decades earlier, she has developed the numbness across many parts of her body after taking penicillin to treat a cold and fever. Testing showed that she has lost responsiveness to pressure, and nerve biopsy confirmed that that GLs quick conducting fiber were gone, resulting in an ability to send any poke, pole, or pinpick below her nose, but she could still send warm, suggesting that her slow conducting amalifinate fibers were intact. Intact means without any defect, it's untouched. Upon recruiting GL's erosion test her by pushing her arm gently at the space of between 2 to 10 cm per second. She has more trouble distinguishing the direction or pressures of the brush choke than most subjects, but reported feeling a pressure sensation. When the researcher tried pressing her palm where CT fibers are not found, she felt nothing. Olusen used the functional MRI studies to examine which areas of the veins leap up when GL's arm was gently pressed to activate the CT fiber. In normal subjects, both the somatosensory and the insular cortex were activated, but only the insular cortex which processed emotion was active when researchers pressed GL's arm. This solidified the notion that CT fibers convey a more emotional qualities of touch rather than the concise aspects that help us describe what we are sensing. CT fibers it seemed specifically provide pleasurable sensation. Question 22. Based on the passage textbooks offers in the early 1990s, was most likely have expected which condition to result from blocking the fast fibers. A. The rate at which other nerve fibers find would increase. B. The test subject would preserve gentle stimulus as painful. C. The body would compensate by using slow fibers to send pressure. C. The ability to perceive the ability to perceive vibration would be impaired. For this question, we look back to paragraph 1, and we can see from here the sensation of pressure and vibration were believed to travel only along the methylenate fast signaling nerve fibers. That means that fast signaling nerve fiber control the sensation of pressure and vibration. So if you if you blocking of fast fiber, it will block the vibration and the um, pressure. That means the answer would be D. The ability to preserve vibration would be impaired. Because when you block the fast fiber, the vibration and the pressure sensation will be impaired. So the answer should be D. Question 23. Which choice provide the best evidence for the answer to the previous question? Line 1 to line 4. So we go back to the first paragraph. Line 1 to line 4. In the early 1990s, textbooks acknowledged that death humans as low conducting nerve, but asserts that those nerves only respond to two types of stimulus, pains and temperature. This four lines is talking about the low conducting nerve, not the fast conducting nerve. So the answer should not be A. And B, the line 4 to line 7, sensation to location. Line 4 here. Sensations of pressures and vibration were believed to travel only along the methylenate fast signaling nerve fiber which also given information about location. And this sentence is talking about the fast signaling nerve control the pressure sensation, the vibration sensation, 
as well as the location sensation. So the answer should be B. Question 24. As used in slide 18, active, most linear means, person, attentive, movable, and restless. So we go back to slide 18. If slow fiber responsive to gentle pressure might be active in human as well as in other mammal. That means it is active in human. It is also active in mammal. That means it's person in human. It may be person in mammals. So the answer should be A. As used in the line 18, active mean person. Question 25. As used in slide 24, capture, most linear mean, occupy, siege, record, and influence. We go to line 24, look at the word capture. We read from here, in which a fine filament is inserted into the single nerve to capture its electrical impulse. To capture, that means to measure, to record, to mark down the electrical impulse of the nerve. So we go back to question 25. The answer should be C. Captures mean record in here. Question 26. Which conclusion is best supported by the finding of illusions in 1993? For this question, we go back to the second paragraph. In here, in 1993, they corrode young volunteers and record nerve signal while gently pressing the subject's arm with their fingertip using a technique called microneurographics. And they showed that, that soft shocking palm two different signals, one immediately and one delayed. That means one is very fast and one is very slow. So if you go back to this question, A, stimulation as bodily extremities can be sent as rapidly as stimulation closer to the vein. The presence of hair in human skin listens the speech with which nerve conducts signal. C. Gentle pressure is sent not only by fast fiber but also by slow fiber. This could be the answer because this one is talking about the fast fiber. That means immediately. And this is the slow fiber. That means have a delay. If you look back to this sentence here, they show that soft shocking from two different signals. One immediately. This is the fast fiber. And one delay. This is the slow fiber. So the answer for the question 26 should be C. Gentle pressure is sent not only by fast fibers, but also by slow fiber. Question 27. Which choice provides the best evidence for the answer to the previous question? So the previous question is 26. Which concludes is best supported by the findings of the Aleutian 1993 experiment? For, the, for this question, we go back to the paragraph 2. This is the experiment from the 1993. They showed that that soft choking palm two different signals, one immediately and one delayed. This is the main point. So for question 27, line 22 to 26, we go to line 22 to 26. In here, 22 here, using a technique to 26, fire. This only talking the detail of the technique and nothing come out from this detail in here. So the answer should not be A and B, 26 to 28. They show that soft stroking palm two different signal, one immediately and one delay. So this should be the answer. That means one of the fast fiber and one of the slow fiber. So the answer for question 27 should be B. Question 28. The sentence in slide 43 to 45, but mystify, serve mainly to A. Identify factor that solution has previously failed to consider. B. Propose a solution to a dilemma encountered by illusion. 
C. Anticipates a potential criticism of allusion by the reader. D. Shows a problem from the perspective of allusion team. We look at line 43 to 45. But why exactly humans might have such fiber, which respond only to narrow range of rather shuttle stimulus? What initially mystifying? The passage person this line in query as a justification for the team's subsequent research on the CT fiber. Thus, this sentence serves mainly to show that a problem from the perspective of the allusion. That means allusion team's perspective to the problem was initially mystified, so they have a problem to solve out what the CT nerve is conveyed. So the answer should be D. So there's a problem from the perspective of the allusion team. Question 29. It can reasonably be inferred that that's one of the intent goals of the 1990 experiments was to determine A. Precise natures of sensation that CT fibers can convey. It. B. Relationship between body hair and the CD fibers function. C. Rows paid by CD fiber in the perceptions of pain. D. Effects of microneurographics on CD fiber signaling. To answer this question, we have to go, we go back to this paragraph here. He wants to know if the same slow nerve can distinguish where the brush touched the arm and whether it can discern the difference between a growth hairbrush and a further. That means the teams want to know what the CT fibers convey. So the main goal is that they want to know the precise natures of the sensation that CT fiber can convey. So the answer should be A. Question 30. The main purpose of the sixth paragraph, 64 to 75. A. Identify those GL neurological conditions that might be relieved by the experiment. B. Conscious to slide the nerve functions of GL by comparing it with that of other adults. C. Detailed procedure the GLs has experienced during previous experiment. D. Indicate why GL medical condition was of values of allusion experiment. We go back to line 64 to 75 here. To address the question, allusion group short out a patient known as GL who has an unusual nerve defect. More than two decades earlier, she has developed the numbness across many parts of her body after taking penicillin to treat a cold and fever. Testing showed that she has lost responsiveness to pressure, and a nurse biopsy confirmed that GL's quick conducting fiber were gone, resulting in an ability to send any poke, pulse, or pinpicks below her nose. But she could still sense warmth suggesting that her slow conducting amethylinated fibers were intact. In this paragraph, we are talking about the medical condition of the patient called GL. So we go back to the question. The answer is definitely D, because it indicates why the GL medical condition was of the values of ocean's experiment. So the answer should be D. Question 31. According to the passage, GL differ from ocean's other test subjects in terms of what? A. Numbers of cortex activator in the banks during gentle pressing. B. Physical dimensions of the somatosensory cortex. C. Insensitive of nerve signal required to activate the isolar cortex. D. Effects of MRI scanning on the basic function of Bain's cortex. For the answer to this question, we go back to the paragraph here. Allusion used the functional MRI study to examine which area of the vein slip up by the GL's arm was gently pressed to activate the CT fiber. In normal subject, in normal subject, that means in normal patient, both the 
somatosensory and uh, isolar cortex were activated, but only insular cortex, which processed emotion, was active when researcher pressed the GR's arm, which processed the uh, emotion here. So we go back to the question, and we see that in answer A, the numbers of cortex activate in the banks during the gentle pressing is the difference between the GLs and the other subjects studied by the teams. So the answer should be A. Question 32. According to the passage, human experience and emotion aspects of touch when the bank's cortex are shielded from nerve signal. B. CT fiber are exposed to a stimulus. C. Nerve fiber that send pains are suspect. D. Concise aspects of sensation are ignored. For the answer to this question, we go to the last paragraph. And we can see this sentence here. The CT fiber is seen specifically provide pleasurable sensation. That means the CT fiber is conveying emotion quality of touch. So in here, the answer B, the CD fibers are exposed to the stimulus so that the human can experience an emotion aspect of touch because the emotion aspect of touch is conveyed by the CT fiber. So the answer should be B. Okay, after we answer all these questions, if you have time, just go back to the first paragraph, which will the passage one more time from the lies in the early 1990s until the end of the passage. And good luck for your test. Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a private tutor for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one eight five two six five nine two eight six zero nine. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to make mathematics and English better, you can contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk. You can also 私人嘅補習喺呢一兩方面嘅，多謝大家 ，thank you， 拜拜 ，muchas gracias。